hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to fix some keys of your keyboard are not working due to which you are not able to do your work and even many people are not able to log into their computer so you might be also stuck on the login screen so what you can do here at the very left hand corner you will find the human icon of accessibility click on it once and then you will find on a screen keyboard you will have to enable this option they will find the virtual keyboard is now coming up so using this virtual keyboard you can at least log into your computer so just type your pin or password using the virtual keyboard and now your computer will be getting logged in all right so now we are on the desktop now before starting the troubleshooting i would recommend that on your keyboard check the num lock key if you are not able to enter any kind of numbers so make sure the num lock key has been enabled a part of this you can also check the function keys if you are trying to use any kind of function keys and it's not working then make sure that it's been enabled so look for the fn key on your keyboard press and hold it and while holding only you have to press the escape key through which you can enable or disable the function key by using the fn plus escape key so after doing this basic troubleshooting you can check back again if the problem has been fixed and if not then what next you will have to do right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on settings now here from the left hand menu option you have to click on accessibility and then you have to look for the keyboard option so under the interaction you will find keyboard click on it and here you have to make sure the sticky keys are being disabled the filter keys are also being disabled now in case if the filter key has been already disabled then you can also try enabling it all right so keep in mind if it's already been disabled then you can try enabling it and if it's already enabled then you can try disabling it once done you can close it check back again and now next right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on device manager in the device manager you have to look for the keyboard once you get the keyboard you have to double click on it and it will display your keyboard that has been connected to your computer now in case if you don't find the keyboard option here then what you can do from the top menu option click on view and then click on show hidden devices now you can check back still if it doesn't show up then just plug out your keyboard from your computer in case of external keyboard and then plug in back then from the top menu option click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes so once you get the keyboard option double click on it to expand it and whichever keyboard you are using it will be displayed here you will have to make a right click on it and choose uninstall device again click on uninstall device once it will be uninstalled you will have to go ahead and restart the computer so once the computer get restarted it will be automatically installed and then again you can come to the same page make a right click on it and choose update driver click search automatically for drivers and if the update will be available it will automatically update it now once you are done hopefully this will fix your problem and in case if still you have the issues then next you have to do the power flash of your computer that is the best solution so if you are using a pc then plug out all the power cable external devices like mouse keyboard printer anything which has been connected to your pc you have to plug it out after that you need to press and hold on the power button for at least 25 second once done now plug in all the devices power cable and then check back i'm very sure your problem will be fixed the same you can do for your laptop if you are using a laptop with a removable battery then you can remove the battery remove the charger any other kind of devices connected to your laptop then press and hold the power button for at least 20 to 25 second once done again plug in back your adapter and start the laptop and see if the problem has been fixed so these are the best and the possible solution that you can apply and i'm very sure after applying all the solution your problem will be fixed so guys let me know in the comment section which method work for you and still if you have the issue then also let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe till then take care bye bye